Hello everyone, this is Chris Martel, and in this quick tutorial I'm going to illustrate how to make a simple text reflection effect in KLWP. I'm going to work on the editor in landscape mode just to visualize it a bit better. I set up a background image just for this tutorial. First, let's create an overlap group and center it. Now, add a morphing text module and call it main text. I'm going to use the word reflect and the font Tecna for this tutorial and because I already have my values set for this font. But I'll explain through the tutorial what values you need to change depending on the font you use. Okay, now let's make it a bit larger, 80 in this case, and I'm going to leave it white. Now let's copy that text module and name it Reflection. Actually, let me just make the entire group a bit larger just to visualize it a bit better. Scroll down to rotation, change it to 3D flip X and change the offset to 180. Add transparency. Here you'll choose whatever level of transparency you want depending on preference and the background. Go to position and move it down. In this case, it's going to be 115, but this value depends on the font you use. Now go back and create a rectangular shape. Add some transparency to the color just to help you see through and to make sure you are covering the right amount of text. Now make it a bit wider than the text and about a third tall. Anchor it to the bottom. Add a shadow, blur 100, direction 90 degrees, distance 10. Now go to paint and change the filter to clear. This will make a fading effect. And now to amplify the effect, copy and paste that shape module. Note that you can get that same effect with a texture vertical gradient, but unfortunately it doesn't work with rotated objects. That's why I use the shape method. Now save and check it out. Okay, that's all for that part of the effect. Now let's work on the stretched out reflection effect. 
pretty much everything is the same. So I'm not going to repeat steps. I'm just going to work on the reflection morphing text object and shape. I'm going to make the two shapes invisible for now by changing the filter to DST so you can see what's happening. Go to the reflection text and change the size to 93. And the 3D flip X offset to 215 in this case. This makes the text larger and the shapes will need to be enlarged as well later. Change the position to 150. Okay, now let's go back and switch the two shapes back to clear and make them a bit wider to cover the text, 380 in this case, and have the size of the text. Okay, things to keep in mind and point out. You may have noticed the text looks larger inside KLWP, but once you go to the home screen, it will look fine. Also, you're going to have to play around with the values for text size, 3D flip X offset and position depending on the font you use. Okay, now that we have addressed that, let's save and check it out. And there you have it. That's all for this tutorial. I believe it shows the main idea. But let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this or any other design topics and I'll try to make a video about it. I'm going to keep making more design tutorials for KLWP among other things. Please like and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. That's all for today. Thanks for watching y hasta la próxima.